This is kind of an annoying question. For some of you, it's going to be really obvious. For others, it's going to be a real struggle. Um, let me show you how kind of we're supposed to think of it, which is just like translating these words into an equation. So the minimum value of x is 12 less than 6 times another number n. So try to piece it together by starting with the n, right? We can tell from the answer choices that the n is kind of like part of this equation somehow. So just let's work it back. 6 times another number n. So that's going to be 6n. Now they all contain 6n, so that doesn't really help us, but that's kind of how I'd start. Then the next part we want to add on is 12 less than that. So this is where a lot of you got to make a mistake. When we have subtraction in words, it actually ends up sounding backwards than when we write it as an equation. So 6 less or 12 less than this 6n is meaning we're taking the 6n and we're subtracting 12 from it. We're removing 12. So that has to go this way, 6n minus 12. And just like that, now we've avoided the trap answer. C and D are both big traps because the way the sentence is worded, our brain really wants the 12 to come first. But that is not how it works. It's how it works for addition. It's how it works for multiplication. It's fine in most cases. Subtraction is annoying. The way we talk about subtraction sometimes is different from the way we algebraically express subtraction. So just remember that, that, that that's a potential trap and just be careful and hopefully you'll avoid it. The next part then is, well, which direction is this um, inequality symbol going to go? The minimum value of x, meaning, just rephrase that, um, x is greater than 6n minus 12. So x is greater than 6n minus 12 is choice b and that's just flipping it from minimum to something more inequality sounding, right? If it's the minimum, then x is going to be bigger, greater than it. Uh, we could probably use a little arithmetize here if we wanted to, to better understand it. Um, there's no reason we can't pick some random number for n. So maybe we pick something like kind of random, like 10. So then it maybe is easier to understand how this is going to work. Uh, the minimum value of x is 12 less than 6 times 10. So 6 times 10 is 60. And then 12 less than that is 48. So x, the minimum value of x is 12 less than, or sorry, I should stop there. The minimum value of x is 48. So x is greater than or equal to 48. And now if we go to our choices, maybe this helps us. We can kind of see it. Uh, in both a and b, we're still going to have the 60 minus 12. So 60 minus 12, which is 48. So these are both going to be... Um, in, in the choice A, it's going to be x is less than or equal to 48. In choice B, it's x is greater than or equal to 48. So hopefully uh, you would get that and you wouldn't mess up the inequality symbol from there. Um, but luckily, if we did arithmetize, we would have this ability, arithmetize, we would have this ability to see that C and D are wrong because 12 minus 60 is negative 48. So hopefully there you'd be like, oh, that's a different number than what I started with or what I want. It doesn't quite make sense. And so hopefully you'd be able to eliminate C and D because they're just kind of producing the wrong number on the right side of the inequality. Um, this is just a, a general idea. When you, algebra is confusing you, uh, a lot of times we can kind of just put a number in place. Um, sometimes it's to solve. Sometimes it's guess and check. Um, but other times it's just to kind of understand the words a little bit better. And it's maybe even just a temporary substitution so we can maybe, I don't know, like eliminate some answer choices that, that don't match with our expectations. So I think in this case, the sentence is easier to understand with a number in there so that we don't make the mistake of putting the negative in the wrong spot by doing the subtraction incorrectly. So just remember, you've got that tool. Anytime you're confused by the wording of something or the algebra of something, see if maybe arithmetic in some way, having real numbers, will make it easy for, easier for you to understand.